How's it going, everybody? Dieter Kurtenbach here in Oakland. Warriors beat the Phoenix Suns 117-107 to in a game that was a bit friskier than I think anyone expected out of the 11-win Suns. Let's break it down. Three big things off of this game. Let's start with number one. Warriors win by 10. Nice little push there at the end. Suns, frankly, had every opportunity to win this game. Warriors turned the ball over a whopping 18 times in this contest. And the Suns had 19 offensive rebounds. Those two things correlated out into Phoenix getting up 101 shots, where the Warriors only got up 81 shots. And typically the team that shoots more wins. Not the case because the Warriors were exceptional, shot 50% from the floor, uh, and made shots when it counted. And the Suns just straight up didn't, even after getting 19 offensive rebounds. Second chance points, Warriors with 19, Suns with 25, but the Suns only go 8 of 20 on second chance opportunities, that's way too low. When you come at the King, you best not miss, and the Suns miss time and time again, particularly in the second half. But the Warriors falling back into bad habits, not boxing out, not paying attention on the offensive glass and turning the ball over a lot against a better team, you have to imagine that they would be on the losing end of a contest the way they played on Friday night. Second thing, Draymond Green got ejected from this game. And that kind of speaks not to Draymond Green, but more to the refereeing in this game, which was, let's say, active. Uh, a lot of weird calls, a lot of back and forth. It was a pesky game, as I said earlier, so there was going to be a bit more chippiness than a normal regular season game. But Draymond Green gets into it with a referee after Kelly Olynyk. I'm sorry, <laughs> Kelly Oubre, same thing, uh, appeared to like try to headbutt him at one point. He goes to the referee to complain about it. He gets a second technical uh, earlier in the game. He was complaining that Dragon Bender had, had hip-checked him, which he absolutely did, on a uh, on a basket. Didn't get the call there. Got a technical foul for it. And then he gets a second one. So the Warriors play the second half without Draymond, and that meant big minutes for a guy that we haven't seen all that often in Jonas Jerebko. Jerebko was really, really good in this game. He was a plus 22, team high plus 22, uh, in 17 minutes, scoring seven points, three of six from the floor, uh, five rebounds, two assists. Jonas Jerebko getting himself back into the rotation. He was in the rotation before Green got ejected. He deserves run. He, he's a player on this team, and he hadn't been getting a lot of run. You're going up against the Suns. You're going to give guys a chance. Uh, but Jonas Jerebko got in, made the most of those minutes, and then was the go-to guy when Draymond Green was out. Third thing, DeMarcus Cousins got some extra run in this game. 26 minutes, and I would not say that DeMarcus Cousins was particularly good in this game, and it is interesting to note that as good as Cousins has been in his nine games for the Warriors, he, he's been a godsend in many senses, uh, he has gotten kind of wrecked by elite centers, and, and I think this DeAndre Ayton kid, the center from Phoenix, is getting up to elite status right now, and I believe he's 19 years old. This kid has a really, really bright future, and he was working DeMarcus. I mean, just straight up working Cousins. Uh, for most of the game. Now, Boogie will get points, but he was a minus 14 in this contest, uh, despite going 7 for 11 from the floor and, and dishing out uh, four assists. He, he is truly an exceptional passer. Um, DeMarcus has a ways to go, and it was noted when the 19-year-old really did give him a run on Friday night. But he gets extra run in this game, uh, and he, he, you've probably seen the video by now, going up to Steve Kerr saying, don't take me out, don't take me out, don't take me out. Interesting, though, Kavon Looney was the one who closed this game. And Looney, uh, I mentioned Jarebko being plus 22, Looney plus 19. This was a good bench game. Andre Godala plus 13, Sean Livingston plus 14. Uh, Kevin Durant was minus one. <laughs> 21 points, minus one. Uh, and Stephen Curry, uh, man, Stephen Curry did not have a good start to the game, but he finished strong 20 points plus 13 in the contest. Not a game we're going to talk about too much. Uh, not a game that really matters all that much because the Warriors won it, but... An interesting one, nevertheless. Warriors have Saturday off. They will play the Miami Heat, who are not a very good basketball team, on Sunday. But if the Warriors play the way that they played on Friday night in Phoenix, they will lose that game. I can promise you that. We'll see if they have their act together for a early Sunday night affair. We'll talk then.